We are so powerful. Our capacity for destruction is so huge that we have to do something positive. You can't protect the natural world unless you understand it. And one of the great guardians of the natural world uh, is an institution like this. Kew is one of the first scientific botanic gardens of the modern era. It contains, one way or another, something like 90% of all known species of plants. So institutions like Kew uh, are at the forefront of the battle to save the planet. All life depends on plants. There would be no wildlife, there'd be no animals, no insects, were it not for plants. We, humans, would not live were it not for plants. Q needs to be the standard bearer, the drumbeater, with those important messages about plants, biodiversity, habitat loss, food security, climate change. We have here the knowledge, the collections, the history, that we can make this thing happen. When someone asks me what I, where I work and I say Kew Gardens, first thing they say is, oh, you're a gardener. And it's amazing, 90% of people do not know what we do. We've identified plants that are used for controlling malaria, plants that are used for treating people with HIV, people with diabetes, things that have never been found before, that are novel to science. We desperately need different forms of funding to keep this work going. If we lose one plant, you think about how many chemicals that plant might contain. One might be the new cancer drug. We can't stop uh, researching now. You exploit, you take things out. Unless you start putting something in, it won't stay forever. What Q is about is putting the right species back in the right place. There are more than 70 projects now, and they're all over the world. Restoration ecology holds great promise for undoing the damage that people do to the earth. But we have to have the investment. It's not like a situation where there's no hope, but it is a situation where there is urgency. There is no technological reason why any plant species should become extinct, but we need to get on with it. The possibilities that can flow from a large, diverse seed collection are endless. In a single room, we have 20,000 plant species and over a billion seeds. Every seed that we conserve provides options for not only ourselves, but for future generations. As soon as somebody needs a sample for research, we can provide them with that. We expect to bank 25% of the world's plant species by 2020. If we can get to every plant, we will, and we will prevent it becoming extinct. The Temperate House itself is the largest surviving Victorian glass house in the world, and it's completely unique. It's a magnificent uh, Grade 1 listed building and uh, needs urgent care and attention. It, it's not just about the building. The building is important in its own right, but the plant collections it, it holds are, are actually more irreplaceable. Kew's built up over 250 years a massive collection of plants from all over the world. We think there's nearly 30,000 different kinds of plants growing here. We have some plants here that have been here for centuries uh, and are older than the buildings that they're actually growing in, and many of which you could never see anywhere else. I've been here for 28 years, and every time I come into these glass houses, they still fill me with awe. These days, there's less opportunities for children to be able to get close to nature. Q can really offer that kind of hands-on, engaging environment where they can discover, explore, touch, feel, taste. It's really important that we have a facility that affords opportunities to learn and have those sensory experiences of plants and plant science. And we've come across children who don't talk in class, but taken into an outdoor environment, they start to come to life. What really does it for me is those light bulb moments and you watch the eyes kind of grow wider. They are the ones who will be looking after it. It's not doom and gloom, it's potentially about the opportunities that exist in the future. The Breathing Planet campaign will help protect the world's plants, the basis for all life on the planet. In a time of unprecedented global change, it could not be more important. Q has already received generous pledges of support totaling £50 million, half the campaign total. But now we need your help to raise the rest. Please join us.